tonight is the minister in charge of not being a minister, despite being a minister, even though he's not a minister, 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 minister fella, uh, Adrian Mann. Now, minister. The prime minister has made yet another embarrassing blunder that's made us look like a laughing stock on the world stage, quite frankly. Um, isn't it time for the prime minister to resign? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry? Yes, he should resign. Oh, uh, oh right. Uh, could you uh, maybe expand a bit more on that point? Well, of course I can. Now, most people will be lucky to get away with a hundredth or maybe even a thousandth of what the Prime Minister's gotten away with without getting sacked. His latest blunder is merely the uh, latest in a long string of blunders by the Prime Minister, a man we should have never appointed in the first place. Now, most people would say that however bad the current Prime Minister is, he's nowhere near as bad as his predecessor. Well, look, I don't agree with that at all. I mean... As bad as the previous Prime Minister was, she was only in office for seven weeks at the end of the day, you know. And, you know, my, I would argue, what, what's worse? Yeah? A Prime Minister so bad that she only lasted a few weeks, or a Prime Minister completely incompetent, out of touch with reality and the people he serves, who we're too afraid to get rid of, you yeah? know? Allowed to enact his awful policies for, you know, 18 months now, you know, and who knows how long it'll be by the time we get rid of him. So, so although some would say that his predecessor was the worst Prime Minister, the current Prime Minister is second at a bare minimum, you know, and may well even be a touch worse than her, in all honesty. OK, well, what would you say then in response to calls for a general election? Well, we should have one. Yeah, it's as simple as that, really. I mean, we're in this ridiculous situation at the minute where we're allowed to inflict awful Prime Minister after awful Prime Minister on the country, each one more useless than the last, all because... We're afraid of a Labour government. I mean, you know, I thought David Cameron was awful, but then we had his successor, you know. I mean, how bad do you have to be that David Higfucker Cameron is, you know, preferable to you? I mean, a decent government would have resigned two years ago, and, and we know it, you know. Um, the idea that a snap election would lead to an early election as opposed to a long overdue one is completely absurd. Why don't you lose the whip for these comments? Probably, but I'm leaving Parliament out next election anyway. Jumping before I'm pushed by the electorate so you know I've got my GB News Talk TV role sorted out so you know what do I care six figure salary yes please so you know besides these idiots are too busy you know putting party before country to get rid of the tosser in charge at the moment anyway so why don't you lose the whip yes that's what she said for these comments